there are numerous ways in which a task can be performed. Similarly, you can add CSS to your HTML the way you want to. Not really. Smile. There are three ways to apply CSS to your HTML elements. Write your CSS within the HTML tags, inline CSS. Write it inside your HTML filing closed within the style slash style tag, internal CSS. Write it in a separate file with a CSS extension and include it in HTML using the link tag, external CSS. Writing CSS inside the HTML tags using a style attribute is known as inline CSS. It will change the color of text inside the paragraph to orange and font size to 24px. When you write CSS enclosed in the style tag within the head tag in your HTML file, it is known as internal CSS. The above snippet will change the color of the text inside the paragraph to orange and font size to 24px. Storing your things in different compartments is always a judicious way of managing. When you write CSS in a separate file and include the file in the HTML using the link tag, it is known as external CSS. Rel attribute specifies the relationship that the linked file has with the source file. Type attribute specifies the internet media type and the value text slash CSS conveys that it is CSS. href or hypertext reference is used to provide the path of the file which we want to link. The styles written inside. CSS file are not enclosed within any tags. Writing CSS externally is recommended as it is easy to manage as well as it can be used at multiple places easily. Can you include CSS using all the three ways? High five if this question popped up in your mind smile. If you include CSS in all the three ways having the same property in selector, then the inline CSS will have the highest precedence and it will overwrite all the other CSS. If you include internal CSS as well as external CSS then the precedence depends upon the order in which you specify them inside the head tag. Here the CSS written internally will overwrite the external CSS and the text color will change to red and its font size to 20px. CSS is always read by browsers from top to bottom. So the one appearing below will override the above one if the selector and property are same.